instruction says dilate polygon ABCD with center E using a scale factor 2. So we can tell from the scale factor it's going to be an enlargement. Now we say, hey, where is E? Where is center E? And that is what we must take care of. In GeoGebra, we can easily place point E anywhere. And we are going to say, now we're going to dilate from a point. So dilate this polygon from this point. So when I click on it, it questions me the scale factor, which is two. And so we can tell that now it is enlarged, right? As it's larger, now we have A prime, B prime, now etc. Now, what happened? The distance from A to E is now the double. There was only a unit, now there are two units in A prime. Now, there were how many units from the center E to B prime and Y? So there were one and two units. Now, for B. Now for B prime there are going to be four. One, two, three, four. Now, now the good thing about GeoGebra is that it can easily show us how the, this point is going to be in a different position, how it is going to change. It can be a vertex. Now it can be a vertex itself. The the center of it. It might say dilate polygon from with, with center A or with center B or with center any of the vertices might be the center of it. Now I want to show you this one. Over here it says how come this is the uh, dilation with scale factor 2? I mean why, why the image is here? So we have to say there are 1, 2, 3 units from A to E, if I multiply by 2, that's the scale factor, it's going to be 6. 3 times 2 is 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we are just following the instruction, which is to double the distances from the center E. Now there were 3, now there are 6. How many are there for B prime? Well, from center E to B there are 1 and 2, now B. So now there are going to be 4. Now, so it says 1, 2, 3 and 4. So we can tell there are 4 units now, the double of it. So that's a dilation. Now, if the scale factor set, we had a reduction, we only have to um, type it there where it says, now I'm going to do the dilation, now dilate from point, this polygon from center E with a scale factor, let's say one half. Now, so now it is a reduction and it is going to be a smaller so this is the center. If I want to select it, now it is telling me to do something different. It says, now this time it's not going to amplify the distances, but it's going to reduce those distances if there were. How many units from A to E? Well, this is in five, this is in minus two, there are seven. Now there are seven units. Well, one, two, three, four, five. Well, <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So now it is going to be three and a half. Now, seven divided by two is three and a half. So one, two, three and a half. You can tell this is there in the half of the units, right? In the half distance of the units. So that's it. 
So you, I hope you understand what dilation means and how to do it in GeoGebra.